How's it going? Well, you've seen from watching my uh, YouTube channel that I'm a YouTube creator, but of course I'm also a YouTube viewer. And like everybody else, when I'm watching things that I'm interested about, like fishing and outdoors, that kind of stuff, eventually I go down one of those YouTube rabbit holes, which I'm sure you've all experienced, where one minute you're looking at something that you're familiar with, and three hours later you're looking at something you never even thought about looking at. Well, that happened to me a couple of months ago. I was watching videos about fishing, progressed on to sea fishing stuff and for some reason in the feed of next videos came up one uh, by um, a group of people uh, sailing around the world on a ship called SV Delos, uh, Sailing Delos. And I watched that and that led on to other videos with other crews sailing around the world, just ordinary people on sailing boats. I also watched uh, SV Prism, which is another group that are travelling down around Mexico, uh, Sailing Uma, uh, loads of different ones, even one called Fuin Speer, which is uh, an Irish couple, Leonard and Mary, from down in uh, Tipperary, who they've restored their uh, boat, and uh, it's um, something around 40 feet long, and uh, they brought it back from the dead, and they're heading off, I believe, in July of this year. So, you know, I can't, at the moment at least, uh, afford a big sailing boat. I uh, don't have any sailing experience whatsoever. What I do have is this mad river canoe. So I manufactured a foot, a mast foot, using YouTube as a reference, uh, manufactured a dagger board out of timber, and uh, I've got my life jacket on, and I'm going out to give it a go. So wish me luck, and hopefully I'll be back to do the end part of this video. Yeah, this is my Mad River 14 Explorer canoe. I uh, fabricated this mast foot here, which bolts into the canoe. And uh, I've also fabricated this dagger board, which pivots on that bolt, which is hopefully going to give me a, a keel of some description. I've been looking at some videos on YouTube about uh, canoe sailing. I thought, why not? See if I can make some kind of drop-in uh, piece that I can use it to convert it to a sailing canoe. And I'm hoping not only to do um, downwind sailing, which is basically just putting a mast on, catching the wind, but also to you know sail across the wind and upwind, which will mean I'll need to put some kind of a, a dagger board in. Now this, what I've made here, is just for mounting the mast. I intend to... Uh, drill a hole down through the center, uh, stick another piece of hard wood in the bottom and run through a piece of uh, 40 millimeter PVC as the sort of the, uh, the center post and then I'm going to use 32 millimeter PVC as the mast. I'm probably going to reinforce that with something down the center, maybe a piece of uh, metal or timber. I'm not really sure yet about that. And then Back here on the centre thwart, I'm going to make up some kind of a clamp-on piece that I can use to mount a dagger board on both sides, probably. Uh, just to prevent that uh, tipping over when you catch the wind with the mast, trying to cross the wind or go upwind. So that's where I am at the moment. And I'll try and make a few more little short clips to uh, chart the progress as I'm going along. that part put together. Now I'm going to put this uh, foot at the bottom which goes through underneath on both sides you can see that yeah you can see it there it's just uh, to try and spread the the load for um, front to back movement to give it a bit more footprint support and I'm putting some screws in which are uh, they're long enough that they're not going to go through into the hull of the boat 
but even so, I'm putting them at a slight angle just to be 100% certain I don't drill holes from the bottom of my canoe, which would be a bit stupid. <laughs> okay, so uh, I have the foot in place at the bottom. Uh, this piece on the top now is going to be what's going to clamp it into the canoe. I've drilled a, a hole at each end, which I'm going to put some kind of bolt, probably the wing nut on the bottom, which is made easier to take it on and off. Let's drill on both sides. I've just done a pilot hole for the centre hole, which I'm now going to drill with a hole saw. Okay, so I'm through the first level and the clamp, and let's mark the hole underneath into the main piece, and I'm just going to drill that. I'm through that piece. So, the idea of this uh, saving canoe idea, this drop in piece here. Uh, very worst case scenario, if I'm solo uh, camping or something like that, I can probably mount this into the canoe without any real extra space being taken up. Throw the sail into it and then I can downwind sail if the worst comes to worst. So even in that respect, it should be a bit of fun. Okay, so that's those two bits drilled out. Now this is my idea, is to put a piece of... Uh, 40mm PVC in through there and I'm going to cut it off um, flush at that point there and then I'm going to epoxy it in on this one here because this is going to be removable this clamp here epoxy it into here and I'm going to make another block up of hardwood timber so when the mast itself is down through this it'll and rotating it'll give it something to to wear into which won't wear as easy as this softwood so there'll be a hardwood block in under there and I'll sort of half drill through the hardwood block or maybe just even, I don't know, 10 millimetre down into it and that'll give it a place to seat into it and then you'll have the rest of it to, to rest on when it's turning and that'll help support that as well. And then I'm going to take it apart. This will just lift off the top of the bit that's sticking out of here and just to put it back in, just do the same thing, just the reverse. Okay, so I have to make some kind of a, a dagger board. Now, I have this, which is timber for the threshold of the door. It's uh, some kind of hardwood. I'm not exactly sure what it is. That's the way it looks. So, I had this. I have a couple of these. So, I figured I'd try and turn one of these into a dagger board. So, I took that. And I shaped it with a, a plane, hand plane. And I've turned a sort of rough bevel on that and I've narrowed it back on this side, tapered it down into what I think looks like a dagger board. So I just have to do a bit of sanding on it and uh, have to come up then with the mounting to mount it on the canoe, the bracket. Okay, so now I'm having a go at making the uh, sail for the canoe. This is an old dome tent that I've had lying about for years and cutting this up to turn it into the sail. It's ripstop nylon, so it should turn into a serviceable sail. This is a very fancy sawn machine. Unfortunately, I can't sew, but fortunately, this is my mother, and she can. In fact, she's a very good seamstress, a quilt maker. This is the way the weather's been. That's why there hasn't been a video for the last number of weeks. This is the way the weather has been. It's been torrential rain or constant drizzle. Just absolutely miserable. Now it's warm enough. It's not really cold. 
but it's just it won't stop raining. I, mean, I know I live in Ireland, but this is ridiculous. Like we had a couple of great weeks of summer, and now we've had this for the last three weeks. And this is typical, going out, I have gone out fishing a few times, but it's just pouring rain like this, so it's virtually impossible to use the camera. I don't have a waterproof camera, and I really can't risk destroying it out in the rain, so... This is the way it's been. Okay, the rain seems to be coming to an end. I don't know how this is going to work with the rain on the windscreen if it keeps spitting a bit. I'll go out and uh, dry out the canoe, bail out the canoe. Then I'll come and clean the windscreen before I head out. That's quite the downpour. <laughs> <laughs> There's quite a bit of water in there. <laughs>
Well, I think we can declare that a success. Uh, made it out. We've a bit shake at the start because the extra weight of the mast just had to get used to that to balance the canoe. But once I got used to that, got out in the lake and uh, caught the wind and was able to sail across the wind in both directions and downwind as well. Now, granted, it wasn't very windy. When it caught the wind and the wind picked up, it got a wee bit uh, hairy, but that's probably my inexperience. The dagger board seemed to help with the stability and keep it from healing over, which was great. And uh, I really had a great time doing it. It's uh, something I'm going to try more of. I would definitely encourage me to try a bit more serious sailing as well. So you never know, maybe in the future there might be uh, some kind of a sailing boat.